from the voice cloning, AI stickers, perspective transformation, and more. Filmora has just released over 5 very very useful features that you would never want to miss. This is Filmora 13.5, the newest update right now. Hello my dear friends, Alex here from Alexis and our very first feature right here is the affine transformation or else can be alternatively called the perspectives transformation which actually has come in form of an effect okay so you find it as an effect not any feature or kind of the ai tools or stuff so what we're going to do right here is i'll use this video right here for the test of this feature here all right so go straight to the effects and here you're going to search it as the corner pin effect so for myself right here i just added it to the favorites so that i don't take time whenever i want to use this feature all right all right so here you can drag it to your video all right so after you've done that on the properties menu right here you go to the effects okay so right here is going to show up the corner pin so right here i think i just have to reduce my zoom screen level here okay so you can do that by control plus mouse scroll now as you can see on the effects properties right here we have the numerical values that you can use to control here okay so you can actually use this effects properties right here to control all the four corners of this video right here each corner having the x control and the y control so as you can see right here i can shift the figures right here with my mouse and from the previous screen you can see the changes showing up here so you can actually use it the very way that you want so as you can directly see right here you don't just control it through the effects properties but you can also do the controls straight from the preview screen all right so as you can see right here you can shift this one this side or this side now one more thing on this effect right here my dear friend is that you can actually making use of the keyframes as you can see on the effects properties right here you actually have the keyframes that you can actually use to animate the transformation like in this case right here i can add all the keyframes here for the very first keyframe where i want the transformation to start all right and then after a few frames i can do some changes right here as you can see here the keyframes will be automatically be added all right my dear friends so one more thing you need to know about this is you cannot drag it on top of a video right here in the timeline for example you can drag other effects on top of the video but you cannot do that with this one right here you actually have to put it onto the video all right so it works that very way and again one more last thing that you need to know you cannot drag it again on top of the titles you can apply it directly to your titles if you want to use this effect in your titles you just have to you first you have to convert your title into a combo clip like in this way right here if you try to drag it on top of this title here it can't work so what you need to do here is to right select your title and then use this option right here which is the compound clip and then after that you can now drag that effect the corner pin effect right to this compound clip and then the effect is going to work just like on any other video all right so you got it there let's move on to the very second one right here so that we can finish all of them because we got a lot of nice things right here my dear friend that we need to see together okay so this is the cave detect okay Fumora has just added an option for you to be able to create the cavity text without taking the whole day. Let me just add a quick text right here just for this example, all right? So right here, I think I can write something like uh, Alex Ed is inside here. All right, so as you can see, this is the text that I have right here, my dear friend. When you scroll down on the text properties right here on the right side, uh, that is if you are using the same layout, like the one that I am using right now, okay? The properties of anything will be on the right side of the preview screen, okay? So right now, I scroll down here. You are going to see this option right here, which is labeled new. This is the shape option. When you select it right here, you are going to see that we have one, two, three, four options right here that you can actually use in a click of a button all right so for example this very first one right here and when you select right here it shows you in this way from the previous screen and you can actually increase or reduce the strength right here as you can see how it shows up all right directly on the preview screen okay so when you select onto the preview right here you see this green line that shows up that you can actually use to adjust how curved the text can be all right so you can also try other options right here 
way like this one right here which you put the titles downwards okay or this other take or this other text right here that makes a complete circle all right and you can still make adjustments as you like all right my dear friends now let's move on to the third one which is very very exciting the ai voice cloning all right all right, so this is going to create a clone of your voice just like the 11 lives does, all right? So this is how you are going to use it. Go and add a quick text right here. And actually for the very first process, you don't have to write anything inside the text, but maybe just this text here, all right? So when you select your title in the timeline right here, you see this option right here, which is the speech uh, to text, sorry, the text to speech, okay? And when you select it right here, you are going to see this option right here which is an opportunity for you to create a voice clone all right and now when you open it this is the very first option that you are going to see right here and you are supposed to select this recording button here and then read out this small script here okay I, the video creator, am aware that the recordings of my voice will be used by Wondershare Technology Group to create and use a synthetic version of my voice. And when you stop here, there is another second option right here whereby you need to read this a little longer paragraph this time around so that a uh, few more can actually create a clone of your voice using your voice that you have recorded here, alright? Alright, so I'm going to fast forward this part for the sake of your time, alright? So right here, the voice is being cloned right now. And now as you can see right here, my dear friend, I have a new voice character here, which is actually myself. All right, so right now, let me just add something in this quick text right here so that we can try and, and just have a quick text of this, my clone here, all right? All right, now here's my clone reading out this small introduction paragraph here. From the voice cloning, AI stickers, perspective transformation and more, Filmora has just released over 5 very very useful features that you will never want or miss. Alright, now you have heard it for yourself my dear friend, this is how this process goes, actually it's very very wonderful but I made a well detailed video about this and that is one of my recent uploads. If you want to get more details about how does this work, you can check out this video that is popping up right over there, okay? And now we move on to the fourth one and this is the AI stickers, alright? Alright, so for this feature right here, you are going to go to the stickers right here and when you come over here, you see this option right here which is the AI sticker, alright? So when you go for it here, it's going to show up like this. So basically, this is going to generate for you the stickers that you may not be able to find right in Fumora or anywhere else. So this is very simple and direct. Here you're going to put a text as a description of exactly the type of a sticker that you want, all right? All right, so one more thing very, very important that you have to note right here, my dear friend, is the AI stickers generation. Each generation is going to consume 10 AI credits. As you can see right here that you need 10 credits for each sticker generation. All right. And once that is understood, that's all. All right. So as you can see right here, this is the result that I got here. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Very, very nice. All right, my dear friends. So right now, we have the fifth one right here, which is very, very important when it comes to save your time. As you can see right here, my dear friend, we have a lot of resources in Fumora. And some of the time, it may take so long before you find the exact thing that you want. So in this update, Wondershare Fumora is actually added for us uh, the, the filtering options right here. Uh, which is actually the commercial filtering, all right? So, for an example, I'm on the effects right here. I can actually go on this option right here and then choose the commercial so that I can actually see all the effects that are commercially usable, all right? All right, my dear friend, now the following update right here, I actually have got a question about it. If any one of you guys have got some information, can you please write down in the comment section to help me and as well those who are not really understanding it like myself, all right? Now, the issue with me right here, my dear friend, is what exactly Fimora said about this feature, all right? Fimora said, update number five, the transition function is supported replacing applied transition effect, all right? 
Now, my own understanding to this statement right here, my dear friend, is that you can actually replace a transition which has already been applied. But now, my dear friends, my main concern is we have been doing this since Fimora 13 was released. And how come can it be listed as one of the new features, all right? Maybe I'm not understanding it very well. That why, that's why I said in one of you guys who have understood it better, can you please uh, give me some information about it? Like, for example, right here, if you haven't upgraded to this newest update right now, you can actually try to replace a transition from, from the transitions library right here and try to replace the transition that you have already applied with a different transition. You can actually see that it's possible. But in this case right here, it seems like it's now possible in this version. All right, so that's it, my dear friend. Please give me some more light about this so that I may understand. You know, we, we learn together, all right? We understand. We help each other in understanding these things, all right? Now, the last two are not very new, but they are just improvements. The first one right here is the improvement of the interface for the AI music generator. When you select it right here, you can see this is not as a previous vision was you can actually see that it's actually a new interface with the tags at first right here and then so forth and so forth the same thing applies it to 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 the ai image interface all right so when you select right here on the stock media again you can see that the interface is actually been changed right here there is actually a new uniform thing that they just made, which is actually, it's very good and impressive. All right, my dear friend, thank you so much for watching this video to this very point. This is all in this newest update of Fimora 13.5. And right now, my dear friend, if you have gotten some value in this video, please do subscribe to help the growth of this channel. All right. And if you want to see some more better episodes from my channel, just select one of those two videos on the screen right now. And until we meet in that one of those those videos, you have peace.